Hello everybody, Grace Duplees, and we're here with a game called Jalopy, No Time for BS. So if you guys watch my My Summer Car stuff, you probably heard of Jalopy, because that's why I'm playing it. A lot of you guys kept suggesting this to me, so I figured I would just at least go and check it out. Um, now again, this is one of those things where the game's been out for a little while. I did want to get the opportunity to play it. The developer sent me a code for it, so I, I gotta give this a shot, at least a little bit. There just came out with a brand new update which was the Bulgaria update, which added, like, some new tires, a whole bunch of road functions. Pretty cool stuff. So, if you don't know what Jalopy is, it is a, like, procedurally generated road trip game. You got your crappy little, little vehicle two-stroke engine here, and you gotta upgrade it and fix her up and things of that nature, and you go from one destination to the other. It's actually very relaxing. So, coming from a long, long play session of My Summer Car, I've been playing that for a long time, this is much, much easier. If you're looking to get into just a road trip game where you build up a car a little bit and maybe do some upgrades to it, this is this could be where you might want to start. I'm going to show you guys. Now, this is obviously not the very, very beginning of the game, and I still have to learn a little bit of my way around. This isn't the very, very beginning of the game. I played a little bit just so that I understand some of the concept of the game and like how the different controls work. There's only a couple of pieces to the car. In my summer car, you have to build the engine piece by piece. We're talking each piston, each bolt, everything. So here you just have a couple of components that you can upgrade as you find them on the side of the road. Pretty easy stuff, man. Look at this. We got a carburetor and we got a, you know, got your water, your water tank over there and the fuel tank and what is this? The air filter, the engine block, and then the ignition coil. All of these have been upgraded. I managed to find them all on one vehicle on the side of the road. It was like insane. Except for the, uh, what did we have that was stock? I think it was the, uh, the air filter or something like that. And then in the trunk, oh, I didn't want to punch my car in the face. Over here in the trunk, we got a couple of things in here. I've got a little bit of motor oil, I've got a crowbar, our jack, a water bottle, a little cleaning thing, and then some extra gas just in case we need it. Other than that though, we're ready for a little bit of a road trip here. We're gonna get going. The beginning of the game, all it does is kind of show you the basics of the of the functions of how you get from point A to point B. You know, the WASD keys, kind of how you zoom in using the right mouse button, how the left mouse button interacts with everything else. It'll take stuff off, put stuff on, all kinds of stuff like that. And just how to like get in your car, turn it on and go. I just put some new tires on so they should be perfect for getting us from point A to point B. Look at how easy it is to drive this thing, man. It is nothing like... This is, this is so much more relaxing. <laughs> I love my summer car so much. But this is one of those things where you can just kind of get in if you want and go for a little bit of a drive. Let's open up our booklet here. Now, I have tires that are good for road and they're good for uh, sunny, you know, a dry. So let's go ahead and do here. We're going to go from, oh, and if you guys don't know, I pronounce everything wrong. So we're going from Starovo to Latenyi? I don't know. That's, pro that's probably not a Yi at the end. There's probably a special way to say it. We're going to take Route 1. You can see right here. It should be beautiful skies for this. When you choose your route, that's it, man. You choose your route, and you've got you've to drive it. The game fixes everything up for you so that you can't really get lost from what I've seen. So let's get moving here. It will block off other routes if you try and go the wrong way. I think we've got a little bit of, like, bird shit or something like that sitting on our, uh, sitting on our windshield, but I think it'll be just fine. So this is one of those things where once you're in the car, you know, in my summer car, you can kind of sit wherever you want. Here, you can only sit pretty much right behind the steering wheel. So no yelling at me for sitting in the wrong part of the steering wheel. Each destination has a, a city like this where you can go and like gas up and uh, hit the store and stuff like that. We've got a couple of bucks on us because I sold some pills, I think. I'm a freaking pill pusher over here selling pills. Oh, you know what we should do? You can see our gas tank is down a little bit. Let's go over here. There should be a, a, a stop right over here. Where we can fill up our gas tank just all the way up. And I'll just make sure I have everything that we're going to need. I don't know if there's a red light system here or what. I don't think so, though. Right over here at the outer shop. Let's go inside. We'll pull up right next to the gas pump. There we go, right like this. We can turn our lights off right now. Now, uh, day and night moves very, very quickly in this game. So, um, you'll see. Like, well, probably by the time I'm done here, it'll already be night. Oh, here's the new tire thing, by the way. You got uh, three tires to choose from. Wet tires, dry tires, and off-road tires. Anyway, let's go ahead and pop the trunk before I forget all about that. Er, not the trunk, the hood. 
All about that. Go ahead and bring her on up here. You can see there's already something that requires a little bit of fixing up, and that's the stock air filter. I think it should be okay. Grab some gas. Here we go. Now, you notice there's an oil mixture here, too. It says we're running lean right now, so I'm going to have to consider that. Now, luckily, I do believe... I have some extra, yep, nope, that's a crowbar, don't want that, it's a water bottle, don't want that either. Let's go ahead and grab, there we go. Got a little bit of motor oil left. Now each, each pump, I guess I'll say, gives you the next step up. So now we're at optimum. I think that was the last little bit of our, uh, of our oil. Yeah, it sure was. Let's go in here real quick and see what we can buy. If there's a couple of extra tires here, some of the dry tires, yeah, there is, right there. We got the off-road tires right there, got the wet tires. And is there any dry tires? Yeah, here we go. Road tires. That's what I want. I think we're going to buy an extra two of these. A lot of times you can sell back your empty your empty bottle there and the, the clerks will buy it. I have no idea why. I, I don't know. I don't know why they would want to buy. I guess recycling or something like that. I'm really not sure. Let's go ahead and grab our wallet real fast because we've got to pay for the gas that we use too. But the way that you make money in this game is by finding stuff on the side of the road. Like I said, like pills and things of that nature. So we are going to have to look for that. Let me go grab, not the off-road tire. I don't want that. There we go. Two fresh tires, a nice full tank of gas. You can see, like I said, the sun's already going down. That's all right. We'll do a little bit of a night trip here. Let's go get inside. We should be good to go. Always carry spare tires in this game. Oh, God. If you don't want to feel the pain, the pain of pushing the car. Although I guess we're lucky that we can push the car. I guess that wasn't always a thing. People weren't always able to push this this poor beast. But uh, now we can. So you can't get locked out. Let's see. Okay, so we can't go that way. So it looks like it's going to want us to go this way. So here's a little checkpoint that we've got to go past. You got to make sure that you don't have any of, the, uh, any of the wrong items in there. So no booze. You can have sausages, though. Lord knows you can always have sausages. You guys know how it is. Let's go stop over here. We got to grab our passport. Put the window down. Here you go, my man. There you go. Everything should be in order. Yes. Tell me about how great I am. Tell me about it. What's going on here? Oh, this dude's looking through my friggin' trunk. Come on, baby. There's no, there's no booze in there. You know how it is. Now, the last time they did not look through my trunk, so that's interesting. Yes. So I guess maybe it's random. Like sometimes they look through and sometimes they don't. Yeah, give me my friggin' give me my shit back. Open this up. Bring this thing. There we go. All right, we're out of here, man. This place is freaking me out. Really tight fit there too. Holy crap! All right, and our uh, our King Kong engine powering us along here. You can see we're up to about uh, 35 kilometers per hour. Getting up the hills a little bit of a chore. This thing really doesn't have the best. Of, of power trains in it. Um, but yeah, man. So, Jalopy, this is this is kind of it. Like, all this here, the, the, the route that you take is never the same twice. And the thing about it is, while we're driving here in the, uh, in the dusty, you can see the, the sun's already setting. On the dusty roadway, we're going to want to look for off-road stuff. We're going to want to look for packages on the side of the road, which I will no doubt miss because I'm terrible at noticing that kind of stuff. Also, it's becoming foggy as hell. What the crap? We're going to want to look for vehicles that are broken down because those are going to give us some upgrades. Oh, the fog. Holy shit. Oh, I can't see anything. This is like the worst, man. How am I supposed to find packages in this? How am I supposed to do it in this in these conditions? And... Uh, and every once in a while, there'll be just little off-road paths that you can take if you want to. Oh, here's one of the roundabouts. There are no uh, no stoplights over here. Only roundabouts. There's a little bit of traffic now and again. Not too much. I haven't really seen too much traffic, especially at night. Looks like everything's cleared up, though, which is quite nice. So the fog is gone. We're just treated to a beautiful starry sky right now. Um, now, these little specks there, I don't think that we can clean those off. Let me try here. Yeah, you see, I, I'd use my uh, use my windshield wipers, but it doesn't really do too much. Going about 85 kilometers per hour, pretty nice cruising speed. Like I said, it's just kind of a pain in the ass to get up these little hills. But once you get going, man, this thing is fantastic. I remember, oh, hold on. What is that right over there? Right over there. Check that out. Hold on. This is what I'm talking about, boys. Here we go. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make that dollar, baby. Go ahead and make that dollar. This is what you, you got to do. What you got to do. Now, sometimes, it's better to... I thought I heard something. 
Sometimes it's better to just grab this stuff and see if it'll fit inside the trunk. But the issue is, is that sometimes it's crap. Yeah, look over here. There's a vehicle coming up on us. Hopefully it doesn't take our car out since we're... Oh my god, look at how this guy drives. Oh, Jesus. So now I've never gotten one of these lock boxes. Curious if you can. Yep, that's what I thought. Right there. Got a couple of bottles. Oh, yeah, those sell real well. I think they sell for 70. 70 uh, marks, I think, is the currency we're dealing with right here. Let's go ahead and grab all this. Let's see if we can shove these in here. I'm not sure if we'll have enough space. I def Okay, good. We had enough space. I definitely wanted to bring those in. And we've got another. Is this another lockbox over here? Man, could you get any luckier? Let's go ahead and put that down right there. Again, grab our crowbar. It looks like... Let me see here. Does the crowbar... Does the crowbar have a durability? I'm not really seeing one. Let's go ahead and pry this off here. There we go. And what the hell is this? Well, let me put this back down. Now, a couple of things are worth more money than others. Uh, what the hell... What is this? Sell. Three bucks. Well, that's not worth very much at all. I mean, I guess we'll take it if we have space for it. There's no reason not to. All right, I managed to get most of it shoved in there. Every dollar counts, baby. Dollar, dollar saved is a dollar earned. You know how it goes. Is that how the, is that how the freaking the saying goes? Let's get the hell out of here. So that was pretty good, man. That was a decent score. If nothing else, the whatever those one things were. I don't know if it's like some sort of uh, some sort of food product or something like that. But the bottles, those bottles of booze are worth are worth big money. I think they're worth like 51 or 71 marks. I hope I'm getting the currency right. Uh, for where we are right now. I guess I'll just call it 51 currency for right now. You guys can you guys can tell me in the comment section below what the hell the currency is supposed to be. I probably should have researched that. But that's going to be good. That's going to be worth easily some gas and maybe some upgrades or something like that. Now, I've been really fortunate in finding all of my upgrades. I haven't had to buy any yet. I've just kind of found them. It's like right over there. Little, little, uh, little shop or something if we needed it. But I think we're doing just fine. We still have quite a bit of gas left. So I'm not worried at all. Once you come to the town, you, you can't miss it, is what I'm trying to say. There's an off-road path if we want to take it. Um, but our tires are really made for the road. Now, sometimes you can find some really cool stuff off the... Oh, shit. All right. Well, I spoke too soon. Guess we're going off-road, boys. Um, what can you do? Our tires are made for road travel. They're not really made for off-road travel. So we're going to take some durability hits from doing this. But, uh, that's why we have, uh, that's why we have extra tires, right, guys? Oh, God, here we go, you some bitch. Now, there's potholes in the game. I guess those, those weren't around before. That was, like, a new update or something. There's also oil slicks and puddles and damn near everything else. You can see a bunch of something on the side of the road there. I don't, oh, this is okay. That wasn't that bad at all. It was a little bit off-road, but for the most part, it's paved. It's like a little private road. It's not bad at all. What I'd really like to find is a broken-down car. Oh, you can see, we're like, we're like starting to overheat, which means that one of our products, one of our components inside the engine is probably either down to two or one durability. So that's not great. Um, I don't know how much distance we have to go. I kind of took a risk. I didn't bring a repair kit with us. You should probably, especially when you start the game, you should probably have one with you. Because not being able to repair the items inside is, uh, well, it's freaking bad. And we may we may end up seeing what happens when you can't do it. You're gonna you're gonna lose a bunch of power and speed and everything else. You can see right now we're struggling to get 80. In fact, the engine itself is starting to starting to act up on me here. Oh come on, baby, just keep going, keep going until we get until we get to a shop or something. We're starting to top speeds getting down to about 60 kilometers per hour. Ooh, downhill though. We're going good downhill. Oh, I love hills like this. I'm not really paying attention to the side of the road. I'm more or less paying attention to how our speed's doing right now. Um, tires are probably fine. But if I remember correctly, I think it was the air filter that was looking bad. I'm not really sure what else. I haven't looked inside of our engine bay in a while. Real dark outside, though. Nice night trip. So, how you boys doing? You guys like taking night drives? I actually do. That's one of the things I like doing around town, just to kind of clear my head and stuff like that. It's just driving... Just driving. I don't always have a destination in mind, but sometime I'll go to the store or I'll have something I have to pick up. And you guys know, if you guys know me, you've been around for a little while, you know my sleep schedule isn't isn't the most normal. So a lot of times I'll be driving at like, oh, I don't even know, guys, like midnight, <laughs> midnight 30. And then on the days when I don't work, I'll be driving at 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Not going anywhere, not trying to party or nothing like that, just trying to 
just trying to feel the, the the wind through my hair and stuff and i'm in an area where especially now man it, it can be beautiful outside at night we're talking 70 degrees fahrenheit uh so for you celsius folks what is that that's 20 20 something i think 70 degrees fahrenheit um so pretty pretty temperate very mild very nice especially when you get a little bit of speed up you feel that feel that freaking that that wind blowing into you it feels fantastic there we go we're up to a double a double laned area now engine still cooperating i'm really happy so far i can't believe it's doing so well round the roundabout you can see our our uh, odometer right down there 946 kilometers so we should be coming up to our city in just a little bit there we go yep you can see right here we're coming up to it now there's a shop which is fantastic oh right next to the motel man could you get any luckier? I kind of went off-roading. Didn't really mean to do that. Let's go ahead and park this. Oh, this is the dealership. Uh, this is where you can get, like, upgrades and stuff like that. I don't actually want that. We want the store, which is right over here, luckily. Man, this town is fantastic. Everything is real close to one another. Look at how close everything is. Now, I don't know if when I go off-road a little bit like that, if it's, like, destroying my tires extra fast. You guys feel free to let me know. Let's park nice and close to the gas over here so that we can get gas quite easily there we go turn off the lights i don't know if the battery goes dead after a while in this game like i said i don't know how how close this is to my summer car when it comes to the realism of how the vehicle behaves go grab one of these carts over here because we're gonna have plenty to stuff into it you remember we got uh we got those bottles of booze we got whatever the hell those other things are. This right here, what is this? I'm really very curious at it, what exactly this is. Rab Zloga. Not sure. Grab my bottles too. Oh yeah, right there. Those delicious bottles of booze, baby. Gonna be selling those for a pretty damn penny. There we go. We got a couple items left, but it should be just fine. There's one thing I, su I could suggest that you buy right off the bat. Man, it is a crowbar. The crowbar has done me so well. Go ahead and sell all this. There we go. Wow. 291 bucks for all that. Look at that. Look at how, look, look at how much that sold for. She's out of cash. Um, all right, maybe we'll sell the rest of this in a second. Now, we can buy stuff in here, and that'll give her a little bit of cash. So we're probably going to go ahead and purchase one of these because that'll bring the balance up a little bit. Let's try and do that there. There we go. See, that brings the balance up a little bit. Let's go ahead and grab... Grab our basket real quick. Let me zoom in for this. Grab our basket. Go ahead and see if we can sell the rest of it. Yep, sure can. We go ahead and grab my wallet. I always forget you have to have your wallet on you to actually do any of the transactions. So let me go do that real quick and we'll fix up our car. All right, I grabbed ourselves a bottle of motor oil. We got the repair kit for right now. Let's go ahead and make that dollar. 465, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're freaking set. Also, you can't run away from paying in this game. The, the, the door closes whenever you have an outstanding balance. So unlike, uh, unlike my summer car where you can uh, you cannot pay and be an asshole if you want to, you can't really do that here. Okay, let me see here. Do we have, oh, we have another, do we have another full thing of, uh, of motor mixing oil? I guess we do. So let's go ahead and check, see how things are going here. We can get rid of our, we can get rid of that for right now. I don't really need it. And let's see what's going on. Oh my God, everything needs to be fixed. Look at this, everything needs to be fixed. So the, dur look, the durability on the carburetors, was at one this the stock air filter was at zero now you only get you only get three uses from your repair kit when you buy it so you may need to buy more than one let me get everything fixed up here and i'll be with you guys in a second all right everything's set let's go ahead and throw some gas in there you can see we were just about to the bottom and right there look at that once you once you throw some gas in you can see that it changes the mixture rating. We went from optimal down to lean, and now we're at we're at nothing. We have we have no mixture rating. So let's go ahead and put in a little bit more motor oil here. I like to run optimally. Um, so right there brings us to lean, and there brings us to optimal. We still have like one more use of this. I think each little bottle gives you three uses. So let's you know what? Let me grab let me grab my bucket real quick here. Want to make sure to keep your vehicle clean at all times, guys. It does help just to kind of uh, clean up the tires here. You got to dip your sponge on in. This is it, man. This is uh, Vehicle Maintenance Simulator right here. All right, so we're all sold up. We got a couple of bucks. Let's see if there's anything that we can invest in. One of the first things that I want to invest in, and we got a little item down here that I haven't sold. I know I said a dollar, 
a dollar earned is a dollar found or a dollar spent is a dollar. I don't know what the hell I said, but we're gonna, we're gonna put that right there. I gotta, we got, we got videos to make here, boys. We gotta get things done. Let's go over to the dealership. One of the very first things that I'd like to buy is the roof rack and probably a bigger, a bigger gas tank. I think having a bigger gas tank is gonna help us out just amazingly because this way I won't have to carry that damn, that damn gas can with me at all times. It just takes up so much space. Go ahead and park right over here. Well, I, I think this is a loading area, but whatever. We're gonna park here anyway. I do. We do as uh, as we please. There's no one else around here. You know what I mean? It's not like this guy's bustling with friggin' with friggin' customers or anything. In fact, while we're doing this, let me go ahead to remember to uh, bring my my wallet. There we go. Let's see if there's anything in here that we can buy. Oh my God! Right there. Look at that roof rack. Adds an additional 48 units of storage pl space plus two tire slots to the car. I want it. Give it to me. What is it? 300? I got it, baby. I got I got your money right here. Right here. Oh, this is it, guys. This is our package. All right, let's go ahead and bring it on over here. Oh, yeah. Yes. Now, there we go. I was going to say, do you just, like, hold down and click on it? Nice. Freaking roof rack. Ready to go. We still have, I think we still have like a hundred and like a hundred bucks or something like that, or a hundred currency. How much is it for a better fuel tank? I don't know if I want to spend all my money right now, but I'd like to just at least look at what it is for a better fuel tank. Let's see here. We got uh, right over here. How about the chubby ones? Uh, let's see here. So represent stability and support all the way down 13 liters. Ours is 10 right now. Portly, oh, 22 liters, 24. Oh, wow, these are very, very affordable. 30 liters, 33 liters. Yes, that's what we want right there. The Chrome Kong, baby. That's what we're going to go for. 300, 300 smackaroonies. We got 143. So we're going to be there in no time, man. I'll tell you, now that we have this roof rack and we can carry everything we want, we're going to be making big cash. So let's go back in. Actually, you know what? We don't need to go in here. What you do at the end of your day... When you're all done, uh, make sure that you have your wallet on you because I think when I closed out of the, the, come on, come on, man. When I closed out of the catalog, I think I lost my wallet. There we go. Is you want to turn in. You want to turn in for the evening over here at the, uh, the Motel California. It's a lovely place. Got some picnic cape tables out front. It's the same lady works at every single one. There she is. Will you be staying with us? It's 20 for the room. Yep, 20 bucks. Give it to me. And this is how you're going to get a new route as well. So you need to do this to continue to get roots. And uh, that's how a play session goes, guys. That's pretty much it. Find cool shit. Buy cool stuff. Upgrade your vehicle. And uh, then at the end of the day, get yourself a little bit of shut-eye. But anyway, I'm going to have to ask you guys. Do you want to see more of this? If you do, I can certainly do it. Otherwise, this will just be a one of. we got a nice little bathroom in here, too. I wonder if you can uh, fill up your water bottles over here. Because this does turn on, if you notice. It's got a hot and a cold, too. That's kind of interesting. Um, and the the toilet bowl, does it flush? No, the toilet bowl does not flush. And it is filled with piss. So that is that feels very, very uh, appropriate for the types of games that we play. But let me know. Either this will be a one-of or I'll kind of do this every once in a while. Maybe like a once-a-week thing or something like that. You guys and me can hang out. We'll go on road trips. Make our jalopy the best it can. Move into Bulgaria and all there, have you? Find the end of the road. It's going to be pretty cool. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Jalopy. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.